I work on passive acoustic uh, detection. I work in the Optical Communications Research Group. I was part of the Molecular Electronics Program for, for several years. I'm a technical staff member in the Cyber Analytics and Decision Systems Group. And I work in the Air, Missile, and Maritime Defense Technology Group within MIT Lincoln Laboratory. Lincoln is really a meritocracy of ideas, and if you have a good idea, it will find a home. It's like academia because we're focused on sharing knowledge within the lab, but at the same time it's like industry because we're building tools and technology that are focused towards a specific goal. Uh, there's a culture that is built around technological excellence. One of the best things about working at Lincoln are the peers. Uh, they just have expertise in a wide variety of areas. And if you need to find an expert, you probably can walk a few doors down and find that very person. One of the coolest projects we worked on was this lunar laser comm demonstration. What was cool about it is we got to demonstrate a laser communications link from the ground to the moon and then back from the moon to the ground. So a technique that I developed was known as, which is known as PD lift photo dissociation followed by laser induced fluorescence and I didn't make a mistake there, that's good. Is there some symptoms, some signals, some evidence or clues that we could use to detect uh, the, the presence of explosives and, and one of the obvious answers is yeah there's trace residue that's left behind. A lot of my projects are looking at system level analysis of different types of energy solutions. Some of the applications we look at are underwater, aerial vehicle, deployed military, places where standard energy solutions, uh, battery packs or fossil fuels don't work well. Uh, one interesting program that I started working on was a telemetry upgrade program for the Eastern Range down at Cape Canaveral. Uh, we were looking to upgrade their systems, uh, especially now that they're trying to go to uh, unmanned flights. You know, when it's your system and you're testing it, you want to be able to do, you know, hands-on yourself. And uh, we can do that, uh, you know, building prototypes at Lincoln. You get a real taste of you know, the real work right away. And that's really exciting and very empowering. And I think a lot of the draw of that is just there's something new, there's something fresh.